impact, or at least maybe starting the downstream. Two inside. Two inside. Okay. Based on what we've worked on in the past, why do you think that club got inside? What, what, what movement do you think that you with your body to cause that club to get inside? Sense on close base, I think. Close on turn four. Okay. So, basically, yeah. So, I mean, the lower body starts to maybe get maybe too, or too lateral or too far left without any rotation, right? So, when we do that, typically that club is going to be underneath or inside that region of the cabin. Okay. So, just make sure that we're making the, the, the left hip or left side, you're getting into that left hip. So, go ahead and go ahead and set up and make a back swing. That is correct. That is correct. Okay. So, what's our move going to be? You should be able to do that. Start to get that way so we can get that left hip to the right. I like to get the toes on there. And that should do what after this one? Okay. And what, in relation to the path, what should it be? Path is going to be in the square. Okay. Perfect. So, go ahead, go ahead and hit one. Hit another one. Better. Where'd that one start? Pretty straight. Pretty straight, right? Started at our target? Yeah. And what'd you feel with the lower body? Just try to rotate more. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Let's this is, this is maybe get off of the subject of target, right? Because I think the, the club path itself is pretty, it's pretty good, right? I mean, it's, it's going down the line. The ball's starting at a target, not moving. How about trajectory? Well, that definitely was a I, it was a little It was low, right? Yeah. Okay. What do you think would cause you to hit a low ball as far as a, a movement in your swing that you're making? Well, I felt like I didn't follow through on the ball. Maybe I came up a little too high, too close, or uh, too early. Okay. How about this? If if if, some, if you're watching somebody swing, okay, and they started their their upper body started downward first, okay, and then they follow through on that same path, on that same plane or that same body angle, you think that that club face when they get to impact is going to be a little bit shut down. Yeah. Okay. Because we end up getting a little ahead of it, right? Get a little ahead of it, that club face is deal off this so when I hit the ball, yeah, I might hit it solid and it's gonna go down my line, but it's gonna be pretty low, would you say? Right. Okay, same thing like when you're trying to hit like a shot under a tree, you kind of stay on that left side and really make sure you hit down and through it. You're essentially doing that move but in a full swing. So every time you hit the ball, it's gonna come off low. Okay, so what I want you to do with this one in particular, this next ball, you're gonna take your maker back swing and then when you start your downswing, try to feel like the lower body is gonna start first so you can at least maintain a little bit of spine angle behind it. I'm not asking you to hit up on it, I'm just making sure I just want you to stay behind the shot a little bit more. So when we get to impact, that club base is it's square as far as the loft goes. We're not making an eight iron, you know, five iron loft. Right. Okay, does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So take a practice swing first. How'd that one take off? Well, and I'm not worried about direction. Off. Direction is it was a fraction right of the hole, but but trajectory wise, where'd it go? It felt like it, it was the few that trajectory. Yeah, it was it higher. Was it was higher yeah. than the one previous. It was definitely right? higher than the one Okay, previous. perfect. So we understand and you understand why, right? Yeah. So as opposed to kind of getting a upper body on it, and if we kind of cover it too hard, so it kind of collapse on it, we're actually getting that lower body to work its way first. Right. So that way everything can follow suit behind it. Use that natural loft of the club, right? Right. Okay. Let's go, dude.
How about that? That one was pretty good, right? Why'd you let go of the car? <laughs> well, it's okay. The, the wind probably knocked it down. But yeah. What was... What was contact like? That's good. Solid. Yeah, the ball first. Okay. Where did the ball start off? Pretty much right yeah. where we wanted it to. Yeah. Okay. How was trajectory? That's good. Pretty good. Okay. And the ball flight was straight, right? Yep. We got shot. Starting off at our target, straight, solid, trajectory was good. Okay. All those being positive, how did we do that though? Right? Do you think that the lower body worked well? Yeah. Okay. Well, for, versus what we've been working on. Yeah. It wrote, what do you think what do you think it did as far as rotation goes? Well first I, I think about rotating all the way back, uh -huh. getting my back to the target. Okay. So my lower body has a easier time that's uncorking. Flip side of that, when you make a swing where you don't rotate, what do you feel happens? My hands go first. Go too first. quick. But why? Because I'm not, the lower body is not fire. Okay. Or I'm just not going to pull a rope. Okay. Give me one more. Same exact thing. Okay, so what happened there? Ball started where? Ball started where? Exactly. Any clues of what you did with the, the, the swing that started that made it start that? Okay. Good to know, right? Yeah. Okay. So it's important that we are able to distinguish why things happen a certain way. And you said it clearly. Now we're left with the green. 